Hi guys, it's Julie from Midwest Jewels and I am here with another What Sold Wednesday. So these are my sales from April 15th to April 21st. The first item that sold for this week was this newest tag Zara green button front baby doll dress. This sold for $20. It sold like within two days, I think. It was really fast because Zara doesn't really sell that well for me, so I was pretty surprised. I received this in my 500 pound, no, $500 thread up mystery box. This next item that sold is a new Attack Stony Clever Lane Terry Clear Sea Glass Pouch. Um, I have one more of these left, and then I've sold out of those. Sold for $35. Next, I sold these Hoka 1-1 Clifton 3 sneakers. Everybody raves about how fast Hoka sell for them, but these took a while to sell for me. I was about to delist them and just give them to my brother to sell because he'd been selling them, has been selling them easily. So, uh, but they did finally sell for $43. Uh, all right. The next item I was so excited about, I think I even posted about it in my last video, but, um, or my haul video. And it's a new attack self-portrait lace panel midi dress in white. Oh, so beautiful. I found this at my retail arbitrage location for $20. So like they didn't know what it was, which I was so excited about because it sold for $200. Probably could have got a little bit more, but I was like, you know what? Fast flip. It sold within a week. Next is this Claire V or Claire Vivier foldover clutch leopard print calf hair. I found out about this brand through the Thread Up Rescue Boxes. I had seen the brand before on an online um, website that I sometimes buy things off of, but the price that they had them at were pretty high and I was not familiar with the brand. Um, so even though the comps were pretty good, I just didn't want to like take the risk with something that priced so high that I hadn't had personal experience with. But then once I got two of the bags in my thread up, uh, rent the runway box, accessory box, but they were all bags. Um, and the first, like one of my bags sold within like a week for a good amount. And the other one still has like a ton of lines. I haven't sold it yet, but it's kind of, it's red. So I think it's a harder color to sell. Well, anyway, I went back to that website. They were still available. So I had a 25% off coupon. So I bought, uh, three bags three Claire V bags. Um, the other two have already sold. This is, was the last one to sell. This one sold for 115. I let it go with that because I was already in the profit and just decided to get rid of it. Since then, I've bought two more bags, one of which has sold for 200. I still have one more. Okay. This next item is Lululemon fast and free 78th tight. Um, these sold for $60. Next is a Taylor Swift Speak Now Tour Tee. This sold for $25. This next item everybody talks about, <laughs> and I still pick them up because, okay, I guess I still pick them up if I, I found them in the bins and I found them on like Dollar Day, but it's the Spiritual Gangster Floral Robe that was in the FabFitFun box. This one just sold for $15, but I only paid a dollar, so works for me. Next is this new Attack Maywell tie strap tiered midi dress. Um, this dress was still on their website. Um, and I picked it up at my retail arbitrage location for $20 and it sold for 65. It was a fast flip sold in just a couple days. This next item is the Madewell scoop sweater tank in all good stripe. Um, I've had this for a while and someone sent me an offer of $25 and so I accepted. Next are these Saltwater by Hoy Gold Sandals. Um, these are a really popular sandal brand and the little tiny ones sell, the women's sell. Um, I got these, I think, end of last summer, so they didn't sell until this summer, but they sold for $25. Next is this Sun Dry Gray Ringer Sleeveless Dress. Um, I haven't had a ton of luck with Sun Dry, so... I only pick it up now if it's just a couple dollars. Um, so anyway, this one sold for 25. 
All right, next is a bundle of two Stony Clover Lane scrunchies. And these sold, the bundle sold for $30. Next is something I'm really excited that sold. Um, these are Johnny Was Green Cargo Embroidered Angel Pants. I got these at the bins. And you know, when you find Johnny Was at the bins, it's like so exciting. But these were just not my style. Although after I sold them, I thought about it and I was like, those are kind of like Y2K, like 90s style pant. So I can see how they sold. They sold for full price of $75. And I had a price high. I was kind of like, well, this price is high. We'll see. <laughs> Somebody bought them fairly quickly too. Um, next is this new Atag Athleta mid-rise bikini bottom. Uh, these had a flaw and they still sold for $20. Um, I think I've had these since last summer at least. Like end of summer, I bought a ton of swimwear on clearance and these are one of them. And then I sold four reseller mystery boxes um, for $25 each. And these had nine items in them, uh, including like one pair of shoes was in each box and yeah. I've been having fun doing mystery boxes. I've been putting most in most of my inventory is coming from my thread up reclaims because I'm just kind of I'm not done with thread up, but I'm just done sending them items that I paid more than a dollar for. And so when I'm reclaiming these items, I'm going through them. And a lot of the stuff that I bought to send to thread up were good brands and good styles they just weren't things that I necessarily want to sew or that like brands that I don't have the best luck selling like and other stories is a great brand and some people love it but I have the worst luck trying to sell it but it sold on thread up so I was buying it to send it to thread up but now that I'm getting it back something you know a couple things back I don't, I don't want to list them. So I'm putting them in reseller boxes. So like all my stuff is good stuff, sellable stuff, stuff I would sell if I had to. I just like, I've had a lot of the stuff for a little while. You know, I bought it. I sent it to thread up. I've reclaimed it. I've sent it to thread up, reclaimed it. Now it's, I'm done. Like I just, I'm just done with it. So everybody's been really pleased with their reseller boxes from me. I would not put anything in them that I wouldn't sell myself or that I would be ashamed to send somebody to sell uh, because I've received really bad reseller boxes before of stuff that I didn't sell, couldn't sell. That's not what's in my boxes. <laughs> so just if you're interested in reseller boxes, follow me on Instagram. I always post there first when I'm getting them ready. And then once they're listed, I post on there and they sell out really fast. The next item I sold was also a reseller box, but this was an athletic box. It was mostly Lululemon and Gymshark. Um, that sold for $75. All right. Next are these Lululemon Wonder Under High Rise Tight. Um, these sold for $50. And I about had a heart attack this morning because I found a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under Size 4. And I was like, oh my God, did I send the wrong ones? Because they were... Coincidentally, in the same laundry, uh, load of laundry, and I guess I just happened to grab the right ones, thankfully, um, and not the wrong ones. There was like one had a full rip tag and one only had a partial rip tag, so I was able to make sure I did send the right ones. <laughs> so, um, next are these new tag Emilio Pucci. I mean, can't say the next word, I don't know what it is, Kiribas print bikini bottoms. Um, these are bought at retail art virtuage. I paid $20. They sold for 60. I was wanting a little bit more, but I doubled my money or doubled a little plus my money. And, um, I'm happy with that. That was a quick sell. Um, next is a full price sale, uh, Patagonia better sweater, gray vest sold for $75. It's going into spring still selling winter stuff. So happy with that. 
The next item that sold are these new tag Terry Holster High Rise Black Bicycle Capris. These sold for $35. I didn't know this brand, but these were new with tags and they were really cheap. So I just decided to give them a try and it took a little while to sell, but they did. I also bought a pair of shorts that same day, but they were an extra large and they weren't new with tags, but, and they sold before these did. Next is this new attack Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag Deco Pink. I got this from um, Far North Thrift because I really wanted it for myself but it didn't fit right. Um, it I looked online and I couldn't find how like long the belt was. Obviously I wasn't gonna wear it as a belt bag, expecting that to fit from Lululemon, but I was expecting like, you know, the cross body style, um, but it was too tight and it like hit like the, the um, closure, like hit me in the wrong spot and didn't feel good. So I did resell it. She was so kind and accepted my offer of $25. Um, I felt slightly bad reselling it for more, but I wanted to get my money back plus shipping. So I ended up selling it for $45. Um, and I hope she's not offended by that if she sees this. Um, if you don't follow Anne Fisa at Far North Earth, you should. She finds some great things. And like I learned so many brands that... I outdoorsy vintage brands that I know nothing about that she does and it's she's a good source of knowledge all right next is this Madewell LA California gray t-shirt beach scene um this I got for two dollars at Savers plus 20 percent off and I sold it for 15 um next is this Revolution Dancewear ivory costume and I bought this at the bins I bought a whole bunch of dance costumes which you know, if you're at the bins and you find that kind of stuff, some certain brands do sell well. Um, I've sold plenty of other dance costumes. Um, I gave quite a few to my niece and that's really what I bought them for. But when I got them, I just kind of threw them all in my cart. They just don't weigh a lot. They're just full of tool. <laughs> so, but when I got home, a few of them were adult sizes and she won't fit in those, into those for a while. So I did list those. This one sold for $25. It's been listed for a while, but I don't think dance recitals were happening <laughs> in COVID. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next are these new attack Patagonia Wayfair boy short board shorts. These sold for $32. Um, next are these free people, skinny distressed raw hem jeans. Uh, these sold for $30. Next are these Levi's 501 bleach distressed shorty shorts. <laughs> Um, these sold for $20. They were a really nicely distressed pair of 501s, um, except like whoever, what, someone went two scissor happy and like one inseam was like two inches and one inseam was like a uh, inch. So, but honestly, when they were just like hanging, you couldn't really tell because they were, had been fringed. So I noted all of that. So hopefully the person is still happy with them. Next is this new Attack R13 plaid shredded seam button down shirt. Uh, this I got retail arbitrage. This sold for $100. Next is this new Attack Mod Cloth, Mod Cloth Peppa Loves All the Racket skirt. Had this for a little while, but it was super cute. So I'm fine with sitting on it a little bit. It sold for $33. Next is another Claire V bag. This is the attache leather perforated tote. This is the one that sold uh, for $200. That was a full price sale from a guest buyer. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that sale. Next is this Free People Thermal Henley Long Sleeve Snap. And this sold for $15. And then the last item that sold are these new Attack Noble Project Word Print Shorts. Um, these I got Retail Arbitrage. They sold over, not, uh, well, I think I even listed them just a couple hours, I would say. It wasn't overnight. It all happened the same day that, they, that I listed them and that they sold. So, um, yeah. And that is all that sold. Okay, so my total gross sales from Poshmark only this week was $1,728. So up from last week, and I had some really great sales. Um, 
and yeah I'm really happy with that so obviously that's my gross sales not after fees or cost of goods but yeah so I will hopefully continue doing these videos and I hope you guys enjoyed let me know um if you are see you guys